right, so what I want to do here is um, we're going to bring what we've done with the sitemap and wireframe, kind of bring it to the digital realm here. And this is my workstation. Um, I have three monitors going, which is very effective for building websites because I have my Photoshop in one place, um, some maybe another document, and maybe my you know my code on one or uh, fetch on the other. Now you guys all have Macs, which is great because you can use the the tiling and you can switch from tile to tile. And it's like having you know four monitors or three monitors. Fortunately, I'm on Vista and I don't get that luxury, so I actually have to go out and have monitors. But it's it's very cool because I don't have to switch, and uh, I can literally uh, go between windows with stuff. I can. Uh, it's really cool because you can just drag them. It's like I have one big window um, that drags right across, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, so what I want to go do right now is I'm zoom right in here. Hopefully, um, let's bring this up here. Hopefully, you guys can all capture that. And what I want to do is I got. Photoshop or uh, PowerPoint open, sorry, and I want to create a basic wireframe from what we've done with paper. Now, to kind of kind of go back backwards and, and trace what we've done. Um, we've created the site map here. Okay, so it's got a home page and a bunch of other pages. So that was one of the videos we covered, and then from that we created a wireframe. Okay, so we're going to take this wireframe and make it digital so it's easy for us to work with. And maybe you know, we're bouncing it off the project manager or a client, so it's easy for us to send back and forth um, digitally through email and stuff. So hopefully, you guys can see this. And just trying to figure out how to. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to Slide Master. Create a block here, and I'm going to say this is going to be the logo for my site to give a general idea. And then we're going to have the navigation over here. So, in our example, we used cancer for our topic, and our navigation items would be home, uh, general info. Research and development. Let's spell it out. Cancer in society. How to help. Okay. Make the font size a little smaller so it fits in nicely. Alright. Space things out a bit. So there's our navigation, okay? Now, I mean, there could be a graphic behind it, um, but the idea is we have the element there uh, so we know how it functions. Okay. I created what's called a slide master, so it's going to be the same on every page. I don't need to, to recreate it um, for every slide. Slide master exists. Um, so on my first page, I would have had a heading that said... Um, this is the home page, all the cancer, okay. And then I would have had a, a block of text there. I'm just going to grab some research here on the other screen about cancer. So obviously, all these links would exist. I just grabbed something from Wikipedia to show you an example of what the content would be. Um, usually you provide it, or a client will provide the content for the site, the text. Um, or sometimes it will work with a copywriter who writes the content for you. But the idea is getting in this PowerPoint here allows you to just work with it. And then we said we had something on the left or on the right side here that may be an image. Okay. So it's a very basic outline website. It doesn't look pretty at all. It's just 
how it would function, making sure we have all the correct elements needed on the page. So I was saying that once this is created, the designer would take this and they would understand 100% that there needs to be elements um, such as this navigation, home, general info, etc. Uh, they need to have an image on the page, a block of text, and a, and a heading somewhere. Now it's up to the designer to make this look nice, and it's up to the designer where they place all these elements. The point of this exercise is to understand for both the development team and the client what they're going to expect and what the developers have to work towards. This way a developer can go into any of these pages and understand you know, how it's currently functioning and maybe it's missing something and the developer says, oh, well we're missing the um, contact page for example or if it's a more sophisticated website that requires a username and password to sign up to the site then maybe we forgot to put a section where it says um, forgot password, you know, simple link like that. So that would all be included into these wireframes. So very important to have these. Okay, I'm not going to continue making the rest, but you can you could easily go through and uh, you know create a new slide here, um, or duplicate slide rather, and then you would you would change it uh, to the second page, move things around, and then make it entirely up to how you want to make it. And based on that, you'll have a better understanding of where to go from there. And then in this case, you are the designer for this project, so um, you would just continue on making this in, uh, with HTML and CSS. However, if you know Illustrator and Photoshop, um, we're going to use Photoshop in our next example. Um, you can continue following along, and it just makes things look a lot nicer.